Here you go. All right, y'all. We we just gonna jump right into this one, man. I you know I. Uh, friend of mine a good truck driver friend of mine from uh from facebook and he's a u.s express driver my man shout out to jarvis jones for bringing this story to me uh the young man that i have on the that i have on the podcast right here is a veteran driver unfortunately he came up under attack in my home state it's crazy out here man but I'm glad that he uh, stopped by to uh, to to come on and and talk it, and um, and we about to we about to we about to do the damn thing. We we about to we about to talk right now. So welcome to the show, Marcus Summers. Hey hey hey, how are you? What's going on, brother man? What's going on, brother man? What's going? going on i'm living i'm breathing i'm i'm happy to be alive man all all i can say is damn it man i got the i got yes, the sir. i got the article and and you 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 was just driving down the driving down 70 uh in ohio right. minding your own business listening to that good music and what happened yeah, actually, I was actually on a conference call uh, with some uh, <clears throat> with some other uh, uh, friends of mine, and uh, they actually heard it all go down. There was actually seven of us on the on the line, so they all heard it go down. And yeah, just driving along, and I heard the pops pop 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 pop, and I knew I was getting shot. I didn't know exactly where. Uh, <coughs> I reached, excuse me, I reached for my gun right away. Uh, trying to locate a target, and I could not locate the target. My next instinct was to protect the uh, the the public, whoever's traveling in front, uh, around, beside me, or behind me, and mm-hmm. and remove myself from the road so I wouldn't crash and maybe kill or hurt anybody else. Uh, as long as I was still conscious, I didn't know when it was going to stop, and I didn't know if I was hit or not. So I was able to do that safely get off the road and um then i assessed myself and and uh it was all good not even a scratch on me man thank god for that man thank god so was you able yes, sir. W- were you able to to figure out where the where the shots came from or could you assess it did you see any particles in the in the in the truck no uh the glass exploded you know my driver's window uh exploded into my face on my lap and all over the floor um so i i wasn't i wasn't exactly sure where it was where it was coming from uh it was a surprise for sure but uh i also went under an overpass and uh, at the same time there was also a vehicle passing me two lanes over so it, it, I was on a three lane highway right there. That part of Dayton, the, right. the, the interstate is three lanes. Right, right. So, right. I'm, uh, I'm familiar with that. Y- yeah, and so that's that's kind of how it all went down. But I'm not just going to shoot to shoot. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just not going to happen that way. You know, I was trained to uh, properly handle a firearm and and uh, re- you know be responsible while doing so. And uh, and so the next thing was to do is just protect others around me and uh, you know remove myself from the interstate as quick as possible and as safe as safely as possible so yeah it was just a surprise and and you know you go you go through training as much as you can do uh in training but it still is very different from reality uh when it actually hits you you know if you think about it man you drive truck it it, it you know what it's like we're sitting ducks you know we're right. an easy target there's there's only so much we can do driving that truck. We're, I mean, we can't. It's not like we can run back to the sleeper, you know, and get away from, you yes, know, the straight yes. of, of of, you know, of the fire right in the line of fire. So, you uh, do you think but, uh, do you think the situation that happened to you uh, is 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 constituted 
for what's going on right now? Man, I don't know. You know, there's just some crazy stuff happening in this world, in this country, and well, and world, but country for sure. You know, it's just unexplainable. You, you really, really no rhyme or reason for 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 a lot of it. And and I, I don't, honestly think people don't care. It's not just kids, but you know, younger generation, maybe uh, even some adults are just doing things that just don't. They don't care if they take life. They don't care if they damage anything what they damage uh is just it's just no thought given but I, I have no idea what the motive was here uh for me i'm a forgiving man i understand you know the power of forgiveness and and moving on mm-hmm. um you know and and for whatever reason they had a problem that they had to you know take out some anger on me i was right there and and they did that they've accomplished that however there's always a there's always consequences to to crimes and um so you know hopefully hopefully we'll be able to uh find out who it was and uh and and deal with it accordingly how 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 optimistic you 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 feel that it 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 they can find them i mean it was dark it was on the three lane highway you got the overpass right. uh how right. how how, how yeah. optimist, op, optimistic you are that that they able to to find them I did have a dash cam, and it's a high def dash cam, so it takes pretty good, pretty good video. Okay. And uh, I, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kind of be quiet about that for now because that is turned over to the state the highway patrol, Ohio okay. state highway patrol, right? And so they're reviewing it, and um, and so I'm, I'm just gonna kind of let them, you know, Do their job. come up with whatever they. Yeah, exactly. So I, you know, I, I will say this in case you know, anybody's hearing it or whatever, um, that, that the car is on, on the video, Mm -hmm. the description of the car is on the video. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and so, you know, we'll, we'll see once how, how the authorities take it from there. All right. So just, so you, let's back up a little bit because I want to ask you, I want to ask you, uh, your opinion on, on the protection of uh of 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 us truck drivers out here because we it, it seems like mm-hmm. it seems like you know ever since the incident up in uh Minneapolis it sort of trickled down mm-hmm. to you know to the looters and the rioters you know that's destroying you know their cities and all like that and it's now like we're under attack now you know what i'm saying you know, we, right, we right. there's been videos of uh, of uh, drivers, you know, the one driver on I-35 being pulled out of his truck because, you know, he didn't know that they was protesting on a major highway. <laughs> I mean, right. you know, like, right. like, yeah. <laughs> like well, that. And you got other drivers that's being attacked, like the uh, the, the FedEx driver, the UPS driver. And a couple of other drivers. Now you mentioned that you said you have, you know, you have a gun. So the 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 truck that you're driving, you're you're an owner operator. This is your own truck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm I'm a motor carrier. I'm a registered legal uh, motor carrier. So I have my own authority. And uh, but yes, I was driving my own truck, and I own the truck. And um, yeah, as far as you know, the drivers who've been who've been in, you know, like you mentioned, uh, the, the fuel guy and, you know, the, the situation there was, was obviously it was a situation where the road had not been blocked yet the way I read it to be. I oftentimes don't like to draw conclusions right away because I feel like there's always a back, a backstory Mm -hmm. behind it somewhere. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it oftentimes is. And so, you know, instead of, you know, originally thinking that he just barreled right through the protesters, you know, you wait a little bit and the, and the truth comes out that look, you know, it, uh, it was not actually the case. It was actually a very different case where he really didn't, he was probably very confused when he came around the curve and seen all the people. Right. And, and, you know, our instinct as, as being responsible adults and, and driving a truck and being responsible for the rig and the contents and the trailer or whatever we're hauling and our own lives is, the highways weren't designed for, for pedestrians, you know, no, it wasn't. they were designed for, for, for traffic, for trucks, cars, you know, vehicles. And oftentimes there's signs it's illegal to, to even ride a bicycle 
on a uh, on a highway. So, so you know, uh, prayers out to to him. You know, in, in a speedy recovery, and hopefully, that, you know, everything will will be good for him uh, and the others. There's there's others as well besides me. The same night that it happened to me in Dayton, there was uh, two trucks in uh pennsylvania i don't know if it was interstate 80 or 84 somewhere there was several trucks and where uh somebody threw rocks apparently yeah, allegedly some, from the side yeah. of the road no i, I read it was yeah. from an overpass and there was also the second truck uh had something dropped from an overpass yeah yeah so yeah so so you know it it, it it's bad it's it's bad to think that by being vocal about what's happening here, what happened to me, and what happened to others, it, it almost like incites violence, and I don't want that, but I would pray that some good would come from this, you know, some way, somehow, and, and you know, uh, you're, you mentioned guns and carrying guns in a truck and, mm -hmm. and, and all that, you know, it, it's absolutely something that needs to be looked at. I can tell you, uh, I'm a board member of the United States Transportation Alliance, which is an organization that consists of 100 percent uh real truck drivers okay everybody on on the board most of us most all of us on the board uh are owner operators or you know we, we're drivers we're cdl holders and and we've been um we the organization is a non-profit c6 organization so we go to dc uh we you know we sometimes go monthly and we fight for overregulation in the transportation and the trucking industry Okay. And, you know, it's an industry that we have a passion for. We're passionate about the trucking, uh, being truckers and being truck drivers and everything related to it. But it's also a very heavily overregulated industry. <clears throat> and uh, and so, you know, that's something that, you know, as an organization is something that we, you know, are looking into. And, and, and we I fully believe in my heart and, and believe that we should be able to carry across state lines i believe i believe that too but i, I was going to ask you right like what what's what what are your feelings about uh about about carrying and for mm -hmm. the and for the companies that don't allow us to carry what what type of, of advice you could give the companies to for 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 us to be protected how how to protect us out here if we can't protect ourselves well i can't speak for other carriers as far as their own company policies they have those in place and i guess uh if you if if there's a carrier that has those rules in place i guess the driver still has the option to not work for them i would very strongly advise uh, you know at least recognize the fact that if I would have drivers, and I don't have any drivers anymore, but if I would have drivers, uh, even a fleet of trucks, I would definitely want my drivers to carry. And, of course, not just being able to carry carry with a CDL, but with proper training for right. the carrying. So, so now you still can carry legally. You can carry in your commercial motor vehicle. Again, this is – I'm speaking for – I'm, spe I'm not speaking f uh, for the companies, for the carriers that have rules against it. I'm speaking for an owner-operator or the drivers that are allowed to. The company do does allow them to carry. It is legal to carry in a commercial motor vehicle. There is nothing in the FMCSA rules and regulations book that states otherwise. So it, it, all, it all the proper rules uh, apply as if you were driving a car. So if that state recognizes your state where you got your license from and you're legal to carry and that's in those states but there's the argument too that that the 2a you know uh is your right to carry which i fully support that as well mm -hmm. i would suggest to, for all drivers that can carry to carry get your permit if you if you need to whatever you need to do again my situation was was just crazy so you know at night and i couldn't identify my target so it was very difficult to to deal with it was frustrating because i wanted to i wanted to eliminate the target i don't just reach for my gun 
okay, unless there's a reason for it. Exactly. And that is that is it. And um, so we moved right away to the next to the next phase, which was safety and keeping the public safe, not knowing if I'd been hit. So in my situation, even carrying a gun, you can say it might not have mattered, but it was the first thing I reached for. It was my instinct. It's what I, it's what I'm, you know, trained to do. And, um, and, uh, again, I'm not just going to shoot. So proper training is, should be enforced if we're going to allow it to be in commercial motor vehicles. Uh, again, I would, I would think that the carriers would, would want that as long as the drivers have, uh, went through a, a, a safety training, um, program and, and acquire the right, uh, credentials to be able to carry a, a loaded weapon. So what? So what? What was all the damages done to your truck? Uh, there was a there was quite a bit of damage done to it. Uh, the driver's side uh, got pelted up pretty good. And again, I, I believe there was d- two different weapons. Uh, I believe one of them is what the authorities call look to be a handgun, a high-powered air air rifle, air maybe a BB or a pellet, yeah. like a CO2. Uh, and so, you know, some of those some of those air rifles are super, super, super deadly. Mm-hmm. They're lethal, and it's it's possible that it could have been uh, there could have been a 22 involved as well. So the windshield in the front got hit. Those two shots, the upper bullet was was right in line with my nose and mouth, and the lower lower hole bullet hole was right in line with my neck. And then there was the side shots from the door. Uh, the drop visor got it, and the driver's side of the sleeper, and then the back of the bunk. So and and none of them were lower. Than mid Marcus, section. So Marcus, man, Marcus. Now I know you said you know yes, you sir. went up under an underpass, but by the sounds of it, it 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 had to be a car. That it, it had to be. That's what we're thinking. That that's what that's what we're we're really leaning towards being a passing uh, vehicle. Oh man, dude! And you said the and yeah. You, so you said the one hole was in line of your of your nose. The lower bullet hole in the front in the front windshield, yes. Oh, the the lower God. one was right in line with my throat, and the upper bullet hole in the windshield, front windshield, was right in line with my nose mouth area. Man, so I, it would have been a it it would have been a hit, man. It would have been a hit had it come through. Oh man, I man, thank thank the Lord for <laughs> for that, man. That's you 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 yeah, yeah, you driver sure. are truly truly blessed. You are truly, right, truly absolutely. blessed, I'm blessed, man, because you said that yes. that the yes, bullet sir. came and it, oh, man. Mm. Yeah, it, it came through. It didn't come all the way through, but it, it the inside of the glass, you could, you know, it's it's jagged. So there's not, you know, really much of anything uh, holding the windshield together, the front windshield. Now, now the driver's side door window, that did explode. And, uh, you know, I am still searching for, the projectile, the, uh, whatever it was, whether it's a BB, a pellet, or a or a bullet. So I I sure am, man. I'm telling you, you know, uh, pulling over, hanging up on the call that I was on, and calling 911, and and then the second call I made was to my wife, which is a call that you don't ever really want to make. Exactly. Well, you don't want to make that. However, I was alive and well. So it, it was better that way than she gets a call from the deputies or the state highway patrol and saying that you know I, I didn't make it. Uh, so that was that was what you know kind of tough to deal with. But nonetheless, I was okay. We can fix the truck, you know. But um, you know, considering that she could be me- making funeral arrangements right arrangements right now, is you know. But instead, I'm, I'm living to tell. So you know, it, it's it's something to. It's something to live through, man. It's it's crazy. It's just it's just crazy. You just don't, you know, you just don't expect that. And and why, you know, why? Just why? It does not make sense. But it, apparently it they it, they had to. It don't make sense at all, man. And these 
and and no. these attacks these attacks on us is 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 not even warranted, man. I mean, we're out here sacrificing. Right. We're sacrificing and literally, literally sacrificing our lives to make your lives yes. better. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, that's something, you know, we're, we're the lifeblood of America. I mean, we are the backbone of America. We're the lifeblood. We are the supply to their all. So, you know, they, they don't care about that. And and that's a shame. What we go through and what we sacrifice for the ungrateful is is almost sickening. And yet we keep doing it because you know people like you and and me and 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 the other you know 3.5 million of us out here uh, being what the essential essential drivers people <laughs> in this country for the last what two and a half three months, and and yet now we're really nothing again and 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 so you know it, it it does it does make you sick to your stomach to think why are we doing this really why do we do this and and yet we will be the first on the scene of an accident to help somebody mm -hmm. uh whatever it takes whatever we can do uh we will be there saving the very people that hate us or that might want to kill us or shoot us or mm -hmm. you know put us down or whatever and, and and so, you know, it's a thankless job. And, and I, I just got to say to all you guys out there, you know, you know, not I know I'm a trucker, but I'm just saying for everybody out there, you know, that's trucking. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's just something thank that you, I you know, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Uh, that, that, and yeah. that's all that we want. We, we don't we, we don't ask for much. We just ask you guys right. out there to respect us, respect the truck. And 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 an occasional thank you every once in a while. I mean, you guys was you guys back right. two th two three months ago. You guys was all over saying thank you drivers, thank you this and thank you that. And then that then then that big explosion happened up at uh up in Minneapolis, and it's and it's like what happened? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. What right. happened? <laughs> You know, it, I mean, you it's know, not and, the and truck driver's fault that that happened, but y'all, right? y'all, y'all looting and 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 hurting us, and you know, trying to try try to hinder us from doing our job. I don't know what to say, man. I don't yep. know what to say. And you know, I've always said when we put our shoes on in the morning, we never who we never know who's going to take them off at the end of the day when our trip's through. Exactly. And uh and and we really don't, you know, uh it's always been uh somebody else's family member that that I've seen either mm -hmm. dead or hurt or involved in an accident mm -hmm. or getting shot at or whatever. You never thought now it would be me. you. Right. Now it's you. It, and it now, changed yeah. it, now it's me. it 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 changed you, right? I mean, it it it, cha it, it had to it change. It really you. gives you, right, man. I tell you what, you know, I cherish life. I am thankful for every minute and for every mile of safety that that God gives me out here, and uh, you know, to not recognize that would be foolish because exactly. I've got millions and millions of accident three miles under my belt, and I don't say that to brag. It doesn't mean I'm better than anybody. You know, I've been out here thirty three plus years or so. You know, I'm a pre CDL guy, so uh, you know it doesn't mean that that you know I know everything because I don't. I'm still learning, you know. And out of all the miles and the years I've been out here, uh, I this has never happened. I've never been robbed. I've never had anything like this happen ever ever before. And uh, you know, times have changed. Times are changing, and and it's and it's a darn shame. But uh, these very kids, like you, we were talking a little bit ago, you know they. They don't understand that without us, they wouldn't live. They would not survive. Mm. But they bite the hand that feeds them, and, and in the end, it's going to get them too. So you paint yourself in a corner. What are you going to do once you get all the way in? You know, right. you, 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 there's only one way to go, and that's up. How and, uh, how, how long did it so, take? Uh, how, how long did it take for the responders to come out to you after you you make the initial call? Not very long, I gotta say. And there, I don't know how many different agencies were there. Ohio State Highway Patrol was there. I know the Clark County uh, Sheriff deputies were there. I don't know if there was local uh, police there as well, but I can tell you there was there was a, a numerous. There was a lot of uh, law enforcement there, 
and and I got to say thank you to them. If they anybody listening uh, on this can hear it from Clark County or from Dayton, Ohio area, uh, the law enforcement agencies that were involved, the troopers that were there, thank you so much. I can tell you, the first thing they were doing was they were worried about me, uh, how I was, and, uh, and and they worried about my safety. So. Um, once they had assessed me personally, whether I was shot, hit, hurt, dead, or alive, or wounded, or anything, anything, blood or scratches, uh, everything was good. And then they got to biz- down to business. So that was awesome. That that was super amazing. Uh, of course, I wouldn't expect anything less. But it was just for being in a situation like that. Uh, they were they were simply amazing. And I can't you know should have should have I needed uh, you know any serious emergency care uh i know that it would have happened you know i would have been taken well taken care of so uh, i gotta say hats off to them so yeah it wasn't very long they were on the scene and i'm not sure if they closed the interstate down or not for you know active shooter crime scene i'm not i heard that they did but i i don't honestly know because i was dealing with my own issues in the cab but uh but yeah, so right. again, I hope that you know justice can come from it, man. And I tell you, uh, we need to carry, and I'll keep you posted too. No you doubt, know, about no the, doubt, uh, no the doubt. Bill that keep we introduced. Yeah, keep me, keep me definitely posted, uh, especially you know on the yeah, yeah. on the on the carry on on the on the carry as well, because I'm a CD uh, CD. Absolutely, uh, I'm a CC uh, CCW holder as well. You know, I, as a matter of fact, for you. as a matter of fact, I got to go and uh, I got to go and renew my license. But, yeah, I am a CCW yeah. carrier. Mine. Hmm? Go ahead. I, I was just going to say mine comes up for renewal on 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. But uh yeah, we got we got to get together, man. We got to we got to shoot some rounds, man. No doubt, no doubt, man. And we we both from Ohio, yes, you you know, 330, so Yeah. 330 yes, 216, sir. you know, we'll we'll get together, driver. Uh what's uh Absolutely. what's 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 the what's the plan, man? You 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 getting the truck back together? You um what's 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 the percentage? Where are you at as far as getting the truck back together? <laughs> getting it back out there? Yeah. So so I do have another truck that I can use once the time comes for it to go down, you know, mm-hmm. get get all get all fixed up as far as the paint, the body work and all that, which is quite extensive. Uh, uh now in order to get it running, to get it, you know, it is drivable, but uh um I I'm actually on my way to my truck garage right now. I'm going to finish installing the driver's side window mm-hmm. in the door. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that should take me about another hour or so, hour and a half. I should have it wrapped up and good to go. And then uh, Saturday, uh, I have the uh, local glass uh, company coming up to my truck garage, and they're going to be replacing both windshields, both front windshields. All right, Marcus, and all hopefully right, I'll be man. back rolling you rolling see, Sunday night. You This this happened, when did this happen? Uh, what, Monday, Monday? Monday night. It happened Monday night, and you'll be back yep. rolling Sunday? Man, they can't stop you. They can't stop you. No, 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 no. They no. can't stop no, you. No, we don't never stop. They can't stop you. No. Not what you got God on your side. No. And I like, I, 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 no, I like your, I, 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 you know, the, and we're gonna end this with this, man. I like what you said right here. Get your heart right with God. Forgive your enemies. Yes. Love hard and live fucking life. Hell yeah. Amen. Amen yes, on that, sir. brother man. That's where it's at, bro. That's where it's at. Well, listen. You got to keep it right because, you know, I could have been dead in a blink of an eye. Man, look, me and you both, man. I mean, I, I got I got, I got, I got, a story to tell. I, I haven't told it yet. I, I'm not probably not going to tell it. But, I, you know, one day me and you get together, I'll tell that story. And, you, and you'll see why I'm, I'm 100% with God, man. You'll see why I'm 100%. I hear you. I hear you. All right, guys. Well, Marcus, man, man. thank you very much. I am glad that you are safe, blessed, and here to tell the story. Um, Thank you. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the ones that has done that will be blocked up, will be brought to justice. There's nothing good going to come out of 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 you guys. I'm I'm just saying, karma works in mysterious ways, man. So if you guys was out there. Try to intimidate or play. 
or or just trying to try to do something, it, it will come back 300 fold, man. All right, so if you guys want to come on and chop it up with me, man, you can do that. Hit me at the Lockout Men Podcast at gmail.com or head over to Instagram. Hit me up over there or 216-600-2090. All right, that's what you guys do. If y'all like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am really, truly honored that Mr. Marcus Summers came on uh, to talk about his his ordeal. Get the information out there for other drivers to just be safe. Let me turn down the music. To just be safe and be aware of your surroundings. Whether you are part or driving, still be aware of your surroundings. If you see somebody rolling a little bit close to you, a little bit long, try to get over and, you know, you know, just try to avoid that. Just keep your eyes, keep your head on the swivel, man. That's all you got to do. Keep your head on the swivel. Mark, I'm about to let you go, man. You have a blessed day and uh, we'll we'll talk again, man. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the time, brother. We'll be in touch, man. Tenfold, tenfold. Love you. Later. I, I want you to know something. I'm listening. I don't. I, I know you're. I know you're black, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm and I'm white or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know what I am. Whatever they call us. I ain't really white. I don't know what they call <laughs> us. But uh, you know. <laughs> uh, so I, I just want you to know that there is only one human race, right? That's it. There is only one human race, mm-hmm. and, and therefore, to me, racism does not exist. Technically, it does not exist. So I don't look at, at anything being racist, and, you know, somebody don't like somebody because of the color of the skin, then you know what? That's on, that's them. on them. That's stupid. My, my, col- my and, color is green. So, I, that's all I see. You know, I know it sounds cliche. I know it's a cliche, yeah. but, no, my, my color is green. If If you black, blue, green, white, orange, yellow, or whatever color, you know, Creed, Mexican, uh, Chinese, yeah. or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I I, I see you for you, right. and that's it. Now, if you treat me, yep. you you treat me the way I treat you, <laughs> then that's that's how that's how we're gonna do it. You you treat me how I treat we, you. We all bleed red. We all bleed. We all bleed we red. We all bleed man. red. And like he said, you put on your shoes the same way I put on my shoes, and I pull on my pants right. the same way you put on your pants. So if you put on your yes, pants sir. different, yeah. let me know. I would like to see that. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you know, uh, I don't, I don't got no argument there. I don't have a lick of argument with you on that because that's the only way we do it. You know, we pull them up, we zip them, we button them or whatever, snap them, and and that's good to go. Uh, I, um, we got a, uh, I don't know. You probably don't know. Have you ever heard of us, U.S. Transportation Alliance? Yeah, I heard, I, I heard of, I, I heard of, I haven't heard heard of it, but I heard it in passing. So yeah, I was gonna say our website you can check us out too it's uh, i didn't want to plug that because i didn't oh, get your permission no, you can to, plug it to talk what, about what is that. it what is it this is the after but, talk so this but, will probably be on on the after talk so oh. what is it <laughs> yeah well it's uh, u.s transportation alliance.org u.s trans.org o-r-g u.s trans o-r-g right u.s yes u.s transportation alliance.org Okay. All right. I got you. Dot org. We'll, I'll plug. Yeah, and it, we'll, we'll and plug the membership that. costs fifty dollars. It costs fifty dollars a year membership if if you want to become a member, and uh, and so. But you know the thing is, understand it's a nonprofit organization. So there's not one of us that can take a red penny from the organization, mm-hmm. and whatever the money that do, we do get in donations or you know memberships, that all is is used for uh, whatever expense we might occur.